Uh, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, today we will discuss a topic, a multicollinearity. Uh, so previous day we discussed about what is meant by autocorrelation and what are the causes and consequences and remedial measures of autocorrelation. So today we will discuss on multicollinearity. Multicollinearity. So today we will discuss this this topic that is a. Uh, so what is meant by a uh, multicollinearity? And what are the causes of multicollinearity? And what are the consequences of multicollinearity? And how to detect multicollinearity? And what are the remedial measures of multicollinearity? So these are the five contents or we will discuss. Simple. What is mean by multicollinearity? And uh, what are the causes of multicollinearity? What are the causes and remedial measures? Nothing but uh, what are the causes and remedial measures? And how we can detect the uh, multicollinearity? So one by one we will discuss today. So here the multicollinearity. So the term the multicollinearity introduced by Ragnar Frisch. The term or the concept of multicollinearity was introduced by Ragnar Frisch. Ragnar Frisch. Uh, simple as we discussed in previous classes. That is a multiple regression. What is meant by multiple regression? So multiple regression is that. So when we have the one dependent variable more than one independent variable is called multiple regression. There is a causal relationship between one dependent variable more than one independent variable that is called multiple regression. So according to the Ragnar Frisch, what is uh, what he was told that about the multicollinearity? See, uh, there is a perfect relationship among the explanatory variables in a regression model is called multiple. Multicollinearity. So, multicollinearity nothing but we can observe in multiple regression. Multicollinearity uh, we can observe in multiple regression, not simple regression. You can remember multiple multicollinearity problem arises in multiple regression, not simple regression. Please keep in mind. And uh, as per the Ragnar Frisch, what is what he was told that uh, if there is a perfect relationship between the explanatory variable or independent variable is called multicollinearity for example when you are writing a multiple regression equation that is a y is equal to a plus beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 beta 2 x2 beta 3 x3 so here x1 x2 x3 are the independent variables independent variable when there is a perfect relationship between the independent variable x1 x2 x2 x3 or x1 x3 is called multicollinearity when there is a relationship is high when the when there is a perfect relationship between the x1 x2 or x2 x3 or x3 x1 that is called multicollinearity 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 occurs when two or more independent variables in a regression model are highly correlated to each other so generally as we know that uh, uh, when you are taking to open multiple regression when there is a, some relationship between the two independent variables, but uh, we cannot say that there is a multiple multi multi quality problems arises in the model. If you take into account the relationship between the variables, independent variables, but when you observe the I correlation, I correlation between the independent variables, that is called multicollinearity. That is the case. The multicollinearity occurs when two or more independent variables in the regression model are highly correlated to each other early correlated to each other oka ani koti madhya sambandham anade ekku unte independent variables madhya dani multi collinearity antam simple if you observe uh, this equation y is y is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 beta 2 x2 beta 3 x3 plus beta 4 x4 plus u so this is called multiple regression so as you know that y is called depend variable beta 0 beta 1 beta 2 beta 3 are parameters or coefficients or slopes and here beta 0 is nothing but constant here x1 xs x1 x2 x3 x4 are independent variables you is as you know that error term or random term or stochastic term okay for example in the multiple multicollinearity means if this x1 x2 x3 x4 variables are correlated each other is called multi multicollinearity multicollinearity means if x1 is correlated with x2 that is called multicollinearity or x2 correlated with x3 
if this x2 variable is correlated with the x3, we can get multi-collinear problem. Or x3 variable can correlate with x4, is also multi-collinear. So among this independent variable, x1, x2, x3, x4, if you, the relation is high, if the correlation between the independent variables are high, that is called multi-collinearity. Multi-collinearity. Uh, have you got this point, dear students? Uh, Monica and Srika? And others? Hello? Hello? Sir? Yeah. Have you got the yes, point? Sir. What is meant by multi-collinearity? Is it clear? So, for example, uh, as I told you, that there is a relationship between this x1, x2, x3, independent variable. For example, if you assume that x1, x2 also, there is a, at least two independent variables, x1, x2, or x2, x3, x4, x, x3, or x1, x4, or x, x4, x2, or x2, x4. So, correlate themselves is called multicollinearity. Multicollinearity. The originally it meant the existence of a perfect or exact or linear relationship among some or all experimental variable in a regression model. So when we get a serious problem of multicollinearity means so when there is a perfect, when there is a linear, when there is an exact relationship between the independent variables is called multicollinearity. When we are running a correlation between the two independent variables, if the R is equal to one, there is a perfect correlation between the two variables x1, x2. When we are getting that value R is equal to one, that is the relationship between the two independent variables. So that is called multicollinearity. Multicollinearity. So 